This is an educational video meant to raise awareness about how decks are constructed and how tragedies from deck collapse may be prevented. On December 22, 2013, my family was gathering on a large semi-commercial deck for a family picture when it suddenly collapsed to the ground. You may be asking yourself, how could this have happened? I looked around at some decks in my community and formed an opinion. My opinion is based solely on the facts provided in this video and are not accurate or complete, nor does my opinion stem from any education and should not really be listened to any further. Now let's look at a deck built in a similar way. This is my deck connected to the back of my home. Notice how the front boards support the entire deck platform and are nailed to the post. You may also notice there are no redundant systems in place to prevent a collapse if the front supporting board were to fall out of the vertical post. This view shows clearly that each supporting board is secured using only five nails. A similar method is used for each column. Now let's look again at the collapsed deck. Notice here that the front boards were simply nailed to the vertical posts in a similar fashion as the deck in my backyard. As you can see, the front boards, which supported almost all of the deck weight, are lying on the ground here in front of the deck. Here again, you can see the small nails protruding out of the vertical post from where the front supporting board simply slipped away and fell to the ground. You may also see the lack of paint in the area around the post which suggests that the boards were also nailed to each side, giving some extra support, but still no evidence of bolts or supporting beams under the deck platform. This is true for each of the seven vertical posts all having several holes or nails where the front supporting boards slipped away and fell to the ground. There is no evidence anywhere of bolts that could have held the front supporting boards to the vertical posts, nor were there any other redundant support beams under the deck platform that could have helped prevent collapse. Here is another view of the front supporting boards. Notice here eight nails that once held that part of the weight of the deck to a single post. Further along the front supporting boards, evidence of the same 8-nail system can be viewed as the only support the entire deck had. Besides the boards that were nailed to the inside of the vertical posts, there were no other supporting mechanisms whatsoever. Nowhere can bolts be seen. Now let's compare this to a deck built with bolts and supports. Notice here there are four bolts and washers securing the front of the supporting boards to the vertical posts. Here again in this four inch tall deck there are bolts and washers securing the front supporting boards to the vertical post. As an additional support method the 6x6 six six vertical posts are cut away so the front supporting posts can rest on top of them. See how the front boards are flush with the vertical posts. As yet another redundant method of support, there is a second beam notched out of the back side of the 6x6 six six vertical post to double up on strength. Let's watch the deck collapse again and see how the front supporting boards simply fell away from the vertical posts. Also note there is no evidence of any other supporting beams running along the middle of the deck between the front supporting post and the brick wall. Now let's look at a commercial structure. Commercial structures have additional large metal braces that bolt all angles to the vertical posts. Also additional supporting beams run along the center of the middle of the deck as shown here. Now let's test your knowledge. Can you tell what may go wrong here with these front supporting boards as they are only nailed to these vertical posts? If you guessed that these boards will eventually fall away from the vertical post, you may be understanding what I believe to have happened to my family as they gathered on the deck for a Christmas photo on 12 13 Now let's look again in slow motion. Pay attention to the front center of the beam as it gives away first, then a chain reaction from the middle out. As each of the seven vertical posts release the front supporting boards as they were only held together by several small nails. Sadly, there were no other sufficient supporting backup systems such as bolts, extra beams, or supporting posts. 
The purpose of this video is to raise awareness about how DEX can be unsafe. If you Google search DEX collapse, you will find time and time and time and time again a similar story where a tragedy could have been avoided if someone would to have taken a quick glance as to what was holding up their DEX. 